Hey there. In this video, we are going to look at the date picker widget and we are going to go over some of its options and ways you can configure it. For us to get started, I'm going to drag in a date picker into the canvas and immediately we're presented with its configuration options. The first is the default date. Here is where you come to specify the default date you want showing up on the widget. You can go ahead to select the date or you can choose the JavaScript mode and uh, write some JavaScript to conditionally set the date, probably pulling in data from another widget or from an API or DB query. The next option we have is to set the date format. And uh, this is the date format that will be shown on the widget we have over here. So selecting a format which has no time, we can see that that is what is showing over here on the widget. You can go ahead to specify a format you prefer. The next option is setting the required state of this widget. And this is designed to be used in conjunction with a form. When this is set to true, form submission will be disabled until the user actually goes in to select the date. The next state we have here is the visibility of the widget, which can be set by turning on the switch, or you can go ahead to write some JavaScript to perform some conditional logic to set the visibility of the widget. And likewise, we also have the disabled state of the widget, which can be configured by turning on the switch or going to write some JavaScript to um, do the same. The next property we have are date controls. And the first we have here is the main date. Selecting this property would disable every date up until the selected date. And going over here to take a look at the widget, we can see that all dates before the 23rd are disabled. And the same goes for the max date. Specifying a date would disable every date um, after the selected date. And we can see that all dates after the 26 are disabled on the date picker widget. The last configuration option we have are actions, and we can choose to call an action whenever a date is selected. We are presented here with the on date selected action. We can choose to call any of these actions listed here, be it API call, DB query, navigation, opening a modal, performing a download, any of these actions shown here, or we can go in to write some JavaScript to perform some conditional logic that we have designed to be performed whenever a date is selected using the date picker widget. So this has been the date picker widget and I hope you found this video helpful.